But hello there, welcome to our London filming locations walking tour two. You can check out more information on our website down below by clicking on our link. So Georgie, what's our starting point? What's the nearest tube to where we are now? It's Leicester Square Station, it's kind of just around the corner from us. Um, and we're going to start by walking to Mr Fogg's, it's a nice little quaint bar. So should we go? Made it to our first location, Goodwin's Court. this court from a couple of movies. It was featured in Mary Poppins Returns. Mary Poppins takes Jack and the Banks kids to Topo Trepo Lofsky's All Repairs Large and Small Shop and here they meet Topsy Turvy played by Meryl Streep and I believe it's a little doorway that they, it's not, obviously not here but they put in a little doorway at the end of one of these. It's behind us. It's behind us. It's over there. They put in a little doorway up there which is the entrance to the shop which doesn't exist. This way please. Never noticed this alley before. Well, clearly you've never had a Royal Dalton Ball that wanted mending. Straight ahead. Here we are. Top Petrepolovsky's All Repairs Large and Small Fix-It Shop. Looks as though it's just a small fix-it shop today. That's just what we want. The bill only needs a small fix after all. Can I just ask you to say top? Poe Toby once more, Top. without looking? No, you can't, I'm afraid. <laughs> um, I've got it all on my phone because I don't know how to pronounce it. Topo Trepo Lofsky's All Repairs Large and Small Fix It Up Shop. Something like that, it's a bit of a mouthful, isn't it? <laughs> more famously though, you might recognise this uh, street from another film, which is Harry Potter. Um, this actually featured as Nocturne Alleys. You could buy things like shotgun heads on this street, but obviously in the day it's just offices. But yeah, it was featured as Nocturne Alley, it's pretty impressive. And it was also the inspiration of the Diagon Alley. Oh, was it really? I yeah, didn't know one that. of many streets that they used. Yeah, because it's so... Quaint. I think it's quaint is the word. But I confined <laughs> as well. And like the, 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 the windows that stick out here. Yeah. I think you can probably recognise those from our visit to Diagon Alley in Universal. And I think the only reference point you have of Harry Potter is someone's put a Tesco's Hogwarts bag in the window there. So that's like the only reference you have here, that <laughs> you're in the right place. But it's just close to Covent Garden, Leicester Square, so come check out if you're a big Harry Potter fan, it's really interesting. Not lost, are you, my dear? I'm fine, thank you. I, I was just... Come with us. We'll help you find your way back. No, please. Harry! Hagrid! What do you think you're doing down here? Come on! You're a mess, Harry. Skulking round Nocturne Alley. Dodgy place. Don't want no one to see you there. People are thinking you were up to no good. I was lost. I. Hang on. What were you doing down there then? Me? Oh, I was, um, I was looking for a flesh-eating slug repellent. They're ruining all the school cabbages.
Covent Garden is famous in its own right. During the day this area is bustling with people, there are loads of little boutiques, little market stalls and some fantastic places to eat and relax. But this isn't the only thing Covent Garden is known for, it's also been used as a filming location in many films. Next to Apple Market is Laudery, a French patisserie famous for their macarons. The passageway between Laudery and Godiva features as the Yuletide shop in Last Christmas. To achieve this, a false storefront was built to provide the exterior shots of this quaint boutique. Last Christmas film just behind me, over on the west of Piazza, a street cat named Bob took its famous scenes just out front in Center Stage. filming location is here at the Savoy. It's on the Strand and the Savoy is known for a couple of films, then being Stan and Ollie, Notting Hill and Entrapment. During the Golden Age, Laurel and Hardy found themselves travelling around the UK touring theatres with their iconic double act. During the 2018 movie, the pair were seen waiting for their wives outside the Savoy Hotel. all this here. Oh. Hi, boys. Delphonte's idea. He thought that the girls arriving would be a good excuse for some free publicity. Ah. Mm. I'm really looking forward to seeing them. Oh, I've been counting the days. 46. Since we got here, 46 days. 46? <laughs> Who counts from 46? I was missing her. Hey. I've been thinking, we don't need to tell the girls about everything we've been doing, do we? I don't want to mention these personal appearances and the drinking. That... No, there's no sense in getting them all worked up. We'll just talk about how well the tour's going and the movie. Sure, and the movie. Hey, if the car pulls up here, do you think we could do the door routine? <laughs> you just never stop, do you? Ooh, there, there they are. are. OK. There she is. Oh. It's a really famous scene in Notting Hill. In like the last few minutes, it's where Hugh Grant's character, William, runs in to go and see, I forgot the name, Dan, what's the name? It's Julia Roberts, but who's the character? Anna Scott. Anna Scott. <laughs> he runs into the Savoy Hotel to go to the Lancaster Room, which is not currently open in the Savoy. And that's where she's doing a press conference, and that's where he proposes to her. Excuse me. Yes. 
Um, where's the press conference, please? Are you an accredited member of the press? Yep. There you go. Yes, that's a blockbuster video membership card, sir. That's right. I work for their in-house magazine. Movies are our business. I'm sorry, sir. He's with me. And you are? Writing an article on how London hotels treat people in wheelchairs. Yes, of course, madam. It's in the Lancaster room. But I'm afraid you're rather late. Right. In the 1999 movie Entrapment, Mac, played by Sean Connery, is tailed from the Savoy Hotel. In last Christmas, Kate and Tom wait for their bus just outside Simpsons on the Strand. The bench doesn't actually exist, that was just placed there for the movie. I would, uh, I call that a successful date. Fun, free, illegal, romantic. And practical, too, don't forget. <laughs> Why practical? How are you gonna get home? Oh, the bus. Are you okay? As okay as I'll ever be on the bus. Okay then. I can find you at the shop. I'm not sure if I've still got a job. Santa kind of hates me. Maybe you should do something nice for Santa. Good luck. Look up. Nice. Georgie, where's your hat shop? The left of Simpsons on the Strand, it's called Hats Cat. I see we're standing next to it all the time. I feel like this is where the mad hat would work. You really want to buy a hat from here, don't you? I don't know why. I just want to feather in my hat because it's fence. What colour takes your fancy? Uh, it's got a bit of purple there. I love this is like a little old style ladder in there. So let's get to the top. It's so cute. I'll have to work out the head size, isn't it? If it was mine, it would be stretched out a lot more. Waterloo Bridge was used in 28 days later. In a short shot where Jim crosses Waterloo Bridge with St Paul's Cathedral just in the background. However, when you watch that film, you notice how big St Paul's Cathedral is. If you look at it, it's not that big from here, so... No, but it is the right bridge, isn't it? Because of the railing. Yeah, it is definitely the right bridge, but they must have done something with St Paul's Cathedral <laughs> to make it look big. Special lens. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Waterloo Bridge was also used in Edge of Tomorrow where Tom Cruise runs over the bridge, looks out over the walkie-talkie during the alien invasion.
So Aldwych Station is a closed London underground station. It was used in several films, for example in 28 weeks later it's used as an abandoned station where Andy runs away from Tammy down the tracks. We stay together. Whatever happens. No! Andy! Andy, no! No, Andy! In Superman 4, the distinctive London underground architecture of this disused station stands in for the Metropolis subway in a scene where Clark gets separated from Lois. Oh. Darkest Hour, where Churchill goes onto the tube and speaks to the fellow citizens of London during the war. Thank you. <laughs> it was also used in atonement where Kira Knightley seeks shelter during the war as well. And I was never able to put things right with my sister Cecilia. She was killed on the 15th of October, 1940, by the bomb that destroyed the gas and water mains above Ballam Tube Station.
Dan, should we go to the bank? Okay. So behind us is Australia House, it is the Australian Embassy. However, in Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone, it did stand in the Springbok's bank, but also it stood in as selfishness in Wonder Woman. But Hagrid, how am I to pay for all this? I haven't any money. Well, there's your money, Harry. Gringotts, the Wizard Bank. Take no safer place, not one. Except perhaps Hogwarts. Things. They're goblins, Harry. Clever as they come, goblins, but not the most friendly of beasts. Best stay close. <clears throat> <clears throat> Mr. Harry Potter wishes to make a withdrawal. Ah. And does Mr. Harry Potter have his key? Oh, wait a minute. Got it here somewhere. There's a little devil. Oh, and there's something else as well. Professor Dumbledore gave me this. It's about you know what in vault, you know which. Very well. So whilst you can't actually go into Australia House unless of course you have a valid reason, you can just make out Gringotts Bank through the windows. That's it for our filming locations walking tour number two. Don't forget to check out georgeanddan.com for more information on this walking tour and to plan your own. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I think it's down there and we'll see you later. Oh, he's moving again. Should we wait for him to move? Yeah. Used by Kira Knightley in atonement when she seeks shelter.